In this video, I want to talk about uh, the median shift and the overlap. Now, when you're comparing two data, uh, and uh, you draw box and whisker, and then you need to compare, looking at the box and whisker, make some conclusion about the data. Now, when you're making conclusion based on your box and whisker, the box is the most important thing, because this is your lower quartile, this value is your lower quartile, this is your median, and this is your upper quartile. So one thing that you should understand is, the box represents 50% of the data, the middle 50%. It's not any 50%, it's the middle 50%. So uh, you can talk uh, a lot based on this middle 50%. So the first thing that you need to look is the difference or shift, or this is, you can also call this the median shift. This is the median shift. Median shift is the difference between the medians. Here, very clearly, suppose this is a box, this is data A, and say this is data B. You can say, you can very clearly see that the median of data B is greater than that of A. Now, one thing that we always have to keep in mind, we are making inference or conclusion based on the, uh, we are making conclusion of the population, of the population from the sample. So, one thing that students tend to forget is, you're not making comparing, you're comparing samples, of course, but based on the sample, you're making conclusion of the whole population. Okay, so suppose I'll give an example. Suppose you have a sample of 30 boys and girls of year 11. And now 30 boys and girls of uh, year 11. And if you're asking the question, uh, are boys taller than girls? What are you, what is the, what is the state, what is the investigation that you're making? The investigation is, out of all the year 11 boys and girls, you have got, you have taken a sample of only 30. So, based on the sample of 30, you are going to talk about the whole year level. Okay, suppose you are taking 30 boys and girls of Waipukarao. From based on that, you're going to talk about the boys and girls of year 11 in New Zealand. So, say Waipukarao, and you are in Central Hawke's Bay College. Suppose you, you have taken a sample of 30 boys and girls of Waipukarao, and based on that, you're going to talk about the whole of New Zealand. So this is your sample, and this is your population. So to just look at the median and say the median of boys, or whatever, whichever way, if, the, if the, this is boys and this is girls, the median of boys is greater than the median of girls, so the height of boys is greater than the height of girls is not a sensible conclusion. So that should be kept in mind because what whatever inference, whatever conclusion you're making, it is back to the population. You are going to talk about the whole population based on the sample. So that should be very clear. So when you're looking at the median shift, you also have to look at the overlap. Now, what does overlap mean? This is the median shift, the difference between the median. That's what I said. Overlap is what is common in both the data. So this is this is the overlap. Overlap talks about the common data, the common data points, the common data for both the sets of data. So this is this is common, and this is a difference. Okay, so let's look at three examples to give you an uh, uh, to give you an example of how you make conclusions. Okay, I can't teach you because every situation is going to be different, but these are some guiding rules. Okay, so let's look at first example. So this is a median shift, and this is the overlaps, and we're going to see how you can talk about the conclusion, how you can conclude based on this median shift and overlap. Now look at this data. Okay, now if you look at this data, there is a median shift, okay, and there is overlap. This much is the overlap. You can say 
this is the overlap from year to year this is the overlap this is the overlap and this is the median shift okay now though there is overlap you what is very clear is the median of box B is outside box A so the median represents median divides the data into uh, two equal parts you can, yeah, so you can say this is a 50% of the data this represents 50% of the data and the lower upper quartile you can say less than the upper quartile you have 75% of the data so this is to the left of upper quartile you have 75% of the data and to the right of uh, median you have 50% of the data so though there is overlap one thing which is very clear is the median of box B is greater than the upper quartile of box A or you can also say the median of box B or sorry the median of data B is outside the box of after outside the box of data A yeah that's right so we can say 50% or more than 50% of box B is greater than the lower 75% of data A so here we can make a call that back in the population whenever you're making a conclusion you should always make the statement back in the population this sentence or this phrase is very important because this explains that you understand what is what is conclusion or what is inference so you can say as the median of data B is out is greater than the upper quartile of data A we can say more than 50% of data B is greater than 75% of data A so based on this you can say back in the population uh, the uh, data B is greater whatever that data is is greater than data A so this is what I have written so let me show you the conclusion so what is that I have written the median okay so this is what I have written the median of box B is greater than the upper quartile of box A so you can make the call that you make the call that means you can conclude that B tends to be bigger than A back in the two populations so this is a very crucial word back in the two population because at least 50% of sample B at least 50% of sample B is greater than 75% of sample A so here you talked about sample and population so whenever you're making conclusion you need to talk you need to be aware that based on the sample you're going to you're talked back in the population so let's look at one more example here so what is that you can see here this is the median shift and this is an there's an overlap so the median shift may be greater here I don't know what's the median shift what what's the quantity of the median shift though the median shift is bigger or greater you can say there is almost complete overlap of box C and D so as there is almost complete overlap though there is difference between the medians of C and D of sample C and sample D you cannot make a conclusion which is greater so whenever you're making inference it's not necessary that you have to make a state uh, make a claim that one is greater than the other or one is smaller than the other so this is what I have written the median of box D the median of box D the median of box D is inside box C okay so that's very clear this is inside box C there is too much of overlap in the boxes there's too much of overlap there is only this much is only difference you can say this much is only this part is only greater of box C although the shift between the medians may be quite big we don't know it may be big or sm small even if it is big as there is almost complete overlap 
to make a decision to make a decision so that means you cannot make a decision which is greater or which is smaller and so no conclusion can be uh, made from sample C and D so here the best thing that you can say is I cannot make a conclusion which is greater or which is smaller because there's too much of overlap okay or you can say that I don't have enough information to make the conclusion that's a better way of making the statement okay and let me finish off with this what can you see here there is difference between the medians and here it's complete overlap box F is uh, or box E is co completely overlapping box F so absolutely you can make no claim here so this is the language no conclusion can be reached about which of E or E or F tends to be bigger back in the population back in the two population as the shift between the median is small the shift is small and the box E completely overlaps box F.